Welcome to your weekly buzz. Presented by Speaking Human. Here's what's happening this week on the buzz. If you're like most Americans, you've probably never heard of Vilnius. It's the capital of Lithuania and the country's largest city. But the city may not go unknown for much longer thanks to a go for broke new tourism campaign that uses an unlikely metaphor to draw attention to the travel destination. The eyeball grabbing campaign calls Vilnius the G spot of Europe, saying no one knows where it is, but when you find it, it's amazing. This tagline is accompanied on the Vilnius G-Spot website with the image of a woman grabbing a map and crumpling it like a bedsheet. We'll let you connect the innuendo. While we can't say for sure how many people have visited the G-Spot of Europe, as a result of the campaign, we can say it has gotten a lot of attention. Most notably, the campaign was recently featured on the HBO series Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. Sometimes in marketing, making a bold move really hits the spot. Here's what's happening this week on The Buzz. Procter & Gamble is the world's largest consumer products company. Recently, the company filed for trademarks of the popular acronyms LOL, NBD, FML, and WTF, which it seemingly plans to use in relationship to its cleaning and air freshening products. While appealing to a younger audience is something that every company is trying to do at some point, because eventually you have to, we wonder if using what amounts to slang makes sense. What do you think? Is this a good idea? Does it resonate in an authentic way with the younger demographic it's trying to reach? And most importantly, if Procter & Gamble is successful in trademarking these acronyms, will people be LOLing with them or at them? Here's what's happening this week on The Buzz. For a prime example of the propulsive and mesmerizing effect great editing can have, look no further than Nike's new commercial spotlighting tennis star Serena Williams. The ad, which has been themed and released in time for Williams' appearance in the 2018 US Open Tennis Championship, is stitched together entirely from existing footage of Williams playing tennis as a young kid training with her father and in various stages of her career competing in the US Open. What's amazing about this ad is how fluidly the editing visually connects these decade-spanning events, making it appear as if time is unfolding all at once, and telling us Serena's inspiring story in the process. One thing's for certain, this is another win for both Nike and Williams. And that's your weekly buzz. Get more fresh buzz at speakinghuman.com forward slash buzz.